one owner car guy and what I got for you here today is a really nice 1983 uh, Mustang 5.0 GLX now it's not the cleanest one that I've usually got I could not pass this thing up just because I'm gonna be able to offer it at such a good deal and it's just a neat little manual V8 convertible Mustang I mean just all the all the little indicators of the great investment car here um, pretty clean there's a little bit of corrosion right there I'll show you in the video um, and like I say this thing is a stinking steel call me up Nathan 406 544 6919 you can reach me anytime I'm doing it at a different place here um, in front of one of my storage yards and um, yeah OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can check out a lot of the inventory I have for sale. I've got about 180 cars, and I try to keep at least 50 or 60 on there. Uh, there may be 100 on there, but some of them might say sold next to them in red. Honestly, I can't detail the stuff fast enough. I love these one and two owner, just cool little cars. This one's a little bit of a uh, light project. Um, I'll go around it and show you everything on it now. Pretty straight. You've got some corrosion starting right there on the door and right there on the fender. I don't know if a guy would want to do some patchwork or if you'd just go to the junkyard and pay 100 bucks to get a fender and a door. Underneath it, it's in great shape. It's not leaking all over or nothing. Uh, these tires the guy just put on it, little titties all over the side. Um, Hercules on the front, man, they got like 90% tread. Clear coat's coming off all over in miscellaneous places, as you can see there. Black's faded. Man, some bumper black um, satin paint from Walmart there would make that stuff look new as can be. But the, the car just needs to be taken down and painted. Um, original California blue plate car, which is quite cool nowadays. The black plate used to be the one to have. But as your classics become a newer model, that blue is the one to have on these. It's the original plate. And the not rusted all to hell. It's got a patina on it. Um, and you can tell it's just very, very clean and California rig. Um, and nice American racing wheels. A little bit of corrosion, especially on the caps. It's little places there like you see in that little trough. Lip, I guess you'd say. Back tires ain't got the same kind of tread on them as the front does. Um, they are a Dunlop GT qualifier. A little bit of um, corrosion coming up in the back quarter there. Teeny bit on the lip inside, but and a little bit right there. And going down the sides, pretty straight car. Not all, not even all dinged up. A um, little bit right there. I bet the guy lived by the beach or something. Um, your dash, your speaker grills have kind of rotted out over time. You'd have to put some up. The seats are in great condition. I'm going to have to do the interior and get you the top up too. Clear coat falling off on the bumper. The trunk is not out of whack. The latch is. And it closes, goes down just fine. Just your trunk does not latch. It has something to do with your little latch. Some water got into the back here because the window fell out. And I've got the window over here. Someone took care of it properly and everything, and kept it, and it kind of ate this piece up. Another piece you get at the junkyard for 15, 20 bucks, and you can see that the jack took a little bit of corrosionary stuff on it, and but it's not rusted through in the trunk anyway. And you got corrosion here in this quarter. See? And right there. Man, that's pretty much an outside tour. Nathan, 406 544 6919. And you can reach me anytime. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull over to the gas station and do this for you in a second. Try and show the interior without the shadows. OneOwnerCarGuy.com and make sure and subscribe to my channel here I got a huge contest coming up and we're announcing it on the 5th and we're giving away a free car and a bunch of other prizes 
five five to eight grand in prizes is what I came up with. Um, let's go in here and fire this baby up for you. The gauges. Oh, there we go. Look at the steering wheels on these old Mustangs, and everything's tight in here. Manual, of course. Now it's got a not a rod knock on it. So you got that little bit of tap, tap, tap into it. It's not just a lifters or something. Go away at a certain RPM, but any more or less, and then it'll come back. I get that fixed relatively cheap. I've got a great mechanic. Right down to the factory cassette player working and everything. But, and like I say, it's a project type thing and I'm not trying to do everything to it. I'm selling it as a project type car. If you're used to my one owner cars that are just awesome and nothing wrong with them, well, this is not it, but it is it, but it just is not, it's in the same exact shape. Don't know how he got a Mercury cover in here for his 83 Mustang operating guide. That's interesting. Um, but let me go over and get this thing underneath the sunshade here. Fires up and just right now. It really runs good. Well, I mean, besides the obvious knock, I mean, it really is a good runner. The clutch is tight. I'm just talking the way it starts and does it. And I'm not going to be getting on this thing or nothing for you. I just want to get it over here in the shade to where I can show you a little more. Okay. Door panels in the car are in good shape. They really are. And you got to the pop in that creek, whatever you're gonna call it. The this is stretched out like they all get. You cannot see that one maybe, but door locks work fine. Clutch cover did fall off. Carpet hanging down a bit there. I pushed it up, it's not hanging down no more. It's just the thing where you look at the seats, they're in great shape. Little tear right here. Just, I guess, great shape for how much of a little project. Um, it's just, it's a car you could get the get your big bad motor in it and start getting it ready to do stuff. Wow, the factory amp! I gotta try that. And it's, um, yeah, the, um, speakers have a short in them, um, in the wire there, you can tell, and it's probably because of the speakers so ate out from the sun, the ones in the dash, I showed you this, the ones in the dash do get eaten out like that, um, I'll throw in a new set of speakers with it, um, for $15. And great car. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top up for you. Show you how that works. Show you under the hood. And I'll run you around the dry cleaners here and I'm going to set this down for a second, and we'll take you back and pop the top up and do it to it. Underneath the hood, it's very, very nice. Even got the original padding under there. And like I say, there's something about this car I was figuring out online where these SGLXs are not supposed to have this motor and this setup and this tranny, especially in a convertible. It's 
still got the stickers under there, the Motocraft stickers. But this one does have that stuff. So, odd. Um, let's get this thing fired up. Break on and we'll do the... I didn't want to give it no gas there when I started it. Here's your top going up. Pump and all everything on it. It's great. And it's really straight one too. When it comes down, you just click it right in there. I love these one and two owner cars. You just always end up with a tighter, tighter machine it seems. Well, this one has its obvious problem where with the motor. But that's what's cool. You're not gonna rebuild one of these factory anyway. I'll tell you what, it's powerful as can be. But. Sir, there's something wrong with your car. Well, I know there's something wrong with my car. He's such a good runner. I wish I could have driven it when it was uh, not doing that. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Nice and tight on the clutch. Got my next letter kind of mixed up in the middle there. Brakes and everything work. It's just you got that little tappity tappity, and this is a cheap rig. I, I sell stuff cheap. I like to sell stuff cheap. I couldn't pass by this little project car because I'm able to offer it so inexpensively. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Give you another view here at the original factory back last where when you get your top taken care of, you can put it on. So we'll see. I might get this thing listed on Sunday here, which is what, the 4th? And it might be the week after, but if you're looking for a smooth little early 80s Mustang project, well, this is it, and you should give me a call. Nathan, 406-544-6919, and you can also go to oneownercarguy.com and check out a lot of the stuff I have for sale. Uh, make sure and subscribe.